Last year I'm going to show you how to get Yeti 3D, which is a really good mod of Doom. And if you like Doom, I would really suggest you to get this. First of all, you should want to go to Safari. Wait until that loads. And go to Sources. Edit. Add. And this will be in my description. And if you want to follow me, just follow what I do. First of all, just leave what's there and type in M A R C O G I O R G I N I dot com backslash iPhone backslash plist dot XML. I'm going to click OK and wait for that to load. It doesn't take too long, it takes less than 10 seconds. Alright, when that's done, you're just gonna. Hold on, it's almost done. Then, when that's done, you wanna go all the way down to the M's, and it's gonna say MarcoGiroGini.com. It will look sort of like that if you can see that. If you're gonna install, it'll be one of the first packages that says 3D apps slash games, and go to that. And you're gonna see two of them that says iPack 3D and Yeti 3D, and go to Yeti 3D. And install that. Click install. Wait for that to go. That's really quick. And then let it refresh. And it should be called Yeti 3D. And click that. That's going to come up. And there's a bunch of options because it just got released on the second update. And I like to go in landscape mode. And it's just like Doom. And you can shoot using this button. You can see those little monsters right there coming. And that's about it. And for those people that heard about the 1.1.4 update, I would suggest not updating to that unless you really want to go through the hassle of downgrading again. And in case you do accidentally do that, you can watch my video on how to do an automatic downgrade. And also, for the people that are also wondering when the SDK is going to be out, that's going to be March 6th. And it's been already confirmed by Apple. So... I'll probably be making a video on that when it comes, so I'll probably make a video on that around March 7th or 8th. And thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy Yeti 3D.